just got home from work and the plan is to read Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. The movie comes out this weekend and so I've been needing to read this and it's less than 200 pages so I mean it shouldn't take me very long but the plan is to read this and finish this tonight so that I can go and see the movie this weekend on Thursday or Friday and yeah I hope it's good I hope I can get into it because I just read Ready Player One and so I'm not super in the mood for like another heavy sci-fi right now but I really did want to read this before the movie comes out so I know I should have prioritized better and read this first but you know I never prioritize well <laughs> what damn you were furious today huh Hey. It's about 7 o'clock at night. Just finished reading Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer and this was okay. I think I'm gonna give it like 3 out of 5 stars but this definitely feels like it's the first book in a series. Like the ending just doesn't really conclude a lot of things and it's kind of- I feel kind of confused right now. Like I need to reread some of the ending because it was just it ended very abruptly i feel like it definitely had this like eerie feeling throughout the whole thing that i really liked it's snowing come on come on come on phoenix's first snow oh yeah yes it's coming down Oh, baby. She's like, this is the same bag here. Woo, it's cold, huh? Snowball, Oh, she got my... <laughs> She's just going for it, eating it. Oh, it's like really coming down right now. Snow on her face. Mean. Mean. Phoenix, come on! Come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> no, huh, girl? Snowed a ton overnight, but today it's actually sunny. That's a lot of snow. You can barely even see the bushes. So, since I'm kind of snowed in for today, I figured I would finish The Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza. I'm 160 pages into it right now, and I'm just like not super feeling it so far, but I don't know, we'll see. And Phoenix is being obnoxious, as usual. You know, like a few minutes ago, she drank literally out of my coffee, like out of this mug. It was sitting there on the desk, and she just ran up and just started like looking out of it like fucking gross thank you so much just keeps biting my toes out so yeah i'll let you know when i'm done with this so i finished it i still am not like super impressed with it i don't know i just didn't really like it as much i don't know it kind of felt like a copy and paste of we are the ants if i'm being completely honest last night i started reading the heart's invisible furies and i only got i only got to page 118 last night but i've already highlighted and written in so many parts loving it so far and it's definitely looking like it's going to be a five star read so i'm just gonna read all day in bed until i have to go to work tonight yay currently monday morning i'm 315 pages into the hearts invisible furies and it's so fucking good you guys this might be another one of the most depressing books i've ever read in my life but like holy shit i'm just i'm loving it it's so so good so let's start with did you attend high school and did you want to yes i attended high school and i wanted to attend high school so next question is did you get along with your parents when you were a teenager and what kind of restrictions or rules did your parents place on your behavior yes i got along good with my parents um my mom was a single mom um and one of the things that she did was she didn't allow me to play sports in high school, which caused a rift. But it all worked out. I love my mom. <laughs> oh, were we on? Yeah. <laughs> um, high school for me wasn't something that I felt I was good at. 
the one thing I liked about it was my friendships. Next question is what were your clothes like and were you concerned about fashion in high school? Back in the day, um, Ditto's and Chemin de Fur were huge. They were the pants that went all the way up <laughs> and they were tight, tight, tight fitting. I had the night off of work tonight and so I wanted to go and see a movie with my mom at our local theater because it's been a while since me and my mom have just hung out, just us, and I think we're gonna go see that movie Film Stars Don't Die in Liverpool because it just looks like really sweet and like something me and my mom would both enjoy. <laughs> I'm at my university for orientation and I'm kind of freaking out because this university campus is so big and I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm just very scared overall so let's hope I don't have an anxiety attack. You can't really see from here but campus is just so big and crazy. Posing. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I think it's out. So it's Saturday afternoon. I just got home from cleaning the parrots again. I had to go and do this volunteer work for my class. I talked about it in my last like vlog, but yeah, I had to go and do another Saturday there. And so I finally finished my hours today. And today it was really scary because she had us change out their water bowls. So like we had to like go and stick our fingers into their cages to get out their water bowls. And some of them were like trying to snap at us. And like, oh my God, it was so scary. And yesterday, orientation went well. It was kind of a shit show, like, not gonna lie. I kind of maybe had a small panic attack, but um, I just feel really overwhelmed. The campus is really big, and it's beautiful, but it's big. And yeah, I'm just feeling very overwhelmed. This is, like, one of the busiest weekends I've had in a long time. Like, I literally had orientation all day yesterday, and then I went to work last night, and then I had volunteer work all day today, and now I go to work tonight, and it's just, like, I'm overwhelmed, and I'm just so excited to have tomorrow off for the Oscars. Like, I need... I need it, you know, and I can't wait. I'm so excited for tomorrow. <laughs> Do you know what today is? <laughs> it's Oscar Sunday, Bean. <gasps> I know she's so excited too. <laughs> I know you're just so turned. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> predictions and do this every year. Mm -hmm. I highlighted in yellow what I think is gonna win and then I highlighted in orange what I want to win, what I think deserves. Wow. So there it is. That's very I've done this for the past like three years. Epic. So far are you right? Yeah, so <laughs> Sam Rockwell just won and I thought he was gonna win and I wanted him win and I also wanted Woody Harrelson just because they're really good. Yeah. Mm, we have this chicken bacon archer pizza, some Caesar salad, and mac and cheese. Mm, this is the best. Allison Jenny. Yeah! Yes! Mm, tough category. And the Oscar goes to Blade Runner. To Give it to Roger Deakins. Come on, Roger Deakins. And the Oscar goes to Roger Aiken. Yeah! Yay! Finally! Yeah! Finally! What the fuck? And, and the Oscar goes to Guillermo del Toro. Yes! Oh my god, here we go. Yeah, that's right. 
Oh my god! Is it real? Is it? it, it are you sure? Are you like for real? Oh my god! Fucking hell yeah! Yes! What is up? Struggle. She's getting too tall. She's mm -hmm. looking them up. <laughs> Phoenix. Phoenix! <laughs> oh, it's a whole other level. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Phoenix! Down! <laughs> Jeez! Right into me! <gasps> it's the first sunny day in a bit. So later tonight we're going to see Love Simon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Still in it. It's gonna be so. <laughs> it's so good. I'm so excited. It's gonna be so awesome. We're gonna be leaving in a few minutes to see Love Simon. There's Puppy. Hi. Hi, baby. And yeah, I'm so freaking excited to see this movie. It's gonna be iconic and revolutionary. And yeah, and we're gonna go get dinner first and drinks probably. So. Whenever I wash my sheets on my bed, she just kind of goes insane and wants to like run around the bed. So these past couple days, I've kind of been getting into this like weird reading slump. I got 59 pages into Not That I Could Tell and I just can't seem to get into it for some reason. And then I got 36 pages into Let Me Lie. And I also just can't seem to get into it. I'm just, I don't know if I'm just like having a short attention span or if I'm just like, today I have the day off of work somehow, thank God. Ugh. And so I thought I might as well just start the Goldfinch today because I have a feeling, you know, this is one that I predicted in my five star reads video that I think I'm going to give this one five stars and I really think I'm going to enjoy this one. So maybe this book will help pull me out of my reading slump. I just have the full day off so I can start reading this because it is like 700 pages and I did tell myself that I wanted to read this book before I start at the university in April because it's a long book and I want to make sure I have enough time. I just got this new journal from Uppercase Box that I really like and so I want to like write down my thoughts in this journal while I'm reading The Goldfinch. It's on 200 pages into it and so far it's okay and if I'm being honest I'm a little bit bored. Phoenix is very fascinated with the neighbors walking by the window and yeah so far the goldfinch is okay I mean it's not my favorite thing ever but hopefully it gets better. I just got the coolest package in the mail this is the French version of Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Wallach, and they sent it to me because they used my blurb. They used my blurb from my Goodreads review on the back, and I mean, they, you know, changed it to French, my reviews in English, but they used my freaking blurb. That's me. I just thought this was, like, the coolest thing I've ever received, and the whole book is, like, in French, and I don't know French, but it makes me want to learn French because it's just so so cool and the fact that this package actually came from paris like that is so cool i got 200 pages into the goldfinch and i'm just like not really enjoying it and it's kind of boring and i don't want it to like put me into this weird slump so i'm taking a break from it for now and i'm currently reading forever right now by emma scott and i'm 106 pages into it and i'm 
really really enjoying it and I think this is definitely something I was more in the mood for right now so I'm probably not going to get back to the goldfinch today I'm probably gonna try to finish forever right now Tomb Raider. Yeah, you know what's crazy is that tomorrow is my last day at community college, like ever. Your thoughts? I liked it. Yeah? I liked Alicia in it. I know, Alicia was so adorable in it. So. I liked all her grunts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could so tell that they did put that into the, the voiceover. Had her do the watch her scene. <laughs> like, ah! No. <laughs> and it's officially my last day of community college. It's so bittersweet and I'm just I'm just really ready to be done with it though, like honestly. I just have one more final in about 20 minutes in environmental science. But yeah, and then that's my last thing and then I have spring break and then I go to university in April. And so like it's a really long story, but I've been in community college for so long, like almost four years i mean i had to take a break when i moved but it's a long story but but i'm just so glad to finally be done with it after today and it's just it's crazy you know I'm on to the next chapter in life i guess <laughs> here's to hoping that final goes well i'm a little disoriented this morning because i forgot to plug my phone in to charge last night and so my phone's like dying right now and i'm just like blah i don't know if i studied enough for my final last night i was like i got into that attitude where i had been studying for over an hour and then i was just like you know what just fuck it i'll just wing it so we'll see how that turns out for me <laughs> finishing up the rest part two of the final online because my professor's insane and you know as if a final in class isn't long enough we have to come and do a part two online and answer like 10 million questions with essay responses and yeah, it's total bullshit. I can't wait for this class to be over, so I'm gonna have to spend the next couple of hours doing this probably. Just got back from Starbucks. This is an iced caramel macchiato and it's like the best. It's exactly what I needed right now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to read right now. I just don't know, like I'm still 200 pages into the Goldfinch. I haven't read any more of it. And I just don't know if it's like something I'm in the mood for right now. So I might read the goldfinch or I might try to get back into not that I could tell. Hey guys, so I'm currently sitting outside of my local library because they sent out a posting that they're hiring and so I filled out the really long application. It's like seven pages. It's always been a dream of mine to work in my library. I mean, I'm going to college to get my English degree and I could potentially be going on to get a master's degree in library science. Like, I don't really know my plan yet, but working in a library would be super beneficial for me and just, yeah, I'm hoping I can go talk to somebody about the job and I don't know. It's fucking pouring. I went into the library and they took my application and they said the lady that like handles the application process isn't going to be in until like 12.45 and it's only 12 right now so I think I'm just going to go like shop around at local book thrift stores and then come back maybe or just like give her a call I don't know but I think it went okay um while I was there I got The Dry by Jane Harper which is a thriller that I've been wanting to read for a while I also got Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll, which is also a thriller that I've been interested in for a while. And I got A Cure for Wellness. Oh man, today is not the day to be running around outside. It's freaking pouring, but um, I just went to my local like thrift bookstore and I've only ever been in there like once before. I don't know why, I just don't ever come down here and it's like the cutest fucking store. And I found The Sun by Joe Nesbo in hardcover for pretty cheap. And like, oh my God, I've been wanting to read this for a while because this is becoming a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal and Denis Villeneuve. My favorite director is going to be directing this. So I'm really excited that I found this. I was gonna get this on Amazon like 
few weeks ago so and um yeah it's getting close to 12 45 so now i think i'm just gonna go back to the library and hopefully the person that i need to talk to will be there is it good yeah. <laughs> got this oreo piece of shape it's dope it's freaking pouring outside um, Five guys is life. So good. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that little cutie. Oh. She's looking out the window over here. Oh. So I'm finally living that spring break life. It's been so great. Last night, I <laughs> last night I went and saw Love Simon again with my mom. It's Love Simon. It's like the best movie I've seen this year, and it was just so great. To watch it again, I loved it even more the second time, and I noticed a total like foreshadow this time, which was pretty cool. And yeah, and so tonight I'm like on call for work, but if I don't get called in, then me and my sister are gonna go see Pacific Rim. You know, we're living that spring break life. Got that movie pass, you know. It's just, it's great. So, anyways, <laughs> oh, there's a bee. <laughs> there's a dog. There's a dog. Window spot. Yeah, you're trying to give me my shit. Uh. Good afternoon. Yesterday, I got sent the book This Felix in the mail by the author to review the book. I feel really bad because I ended up giving this one like three out of five stars. Like, it wasn't a bad book or anything, but I'm just like not that interested in young adult dystopians anymore. Like, never really was. Like, if I'm being totally honest, like, I only ever read the really popular, like, Divergent and The Hunger Games because they were so popular, you know, but I didn't, like, really love them the way I think a lot of other people do, and I didn't really love this book either, and it was just, it was okay. It wasn't, like, bad or anything. Like, I still gave it 3 out of 5. Like, it was a decent story, but it just, it's not something that I'm, like, super interested in, you know, and so I feel bad giving, like, three-star reviews to books that authors send me, but at the same time, like, I don't want to be dishonest about how I feel about a book, you know? I'm never gonna be dishonest, so it's like, it's just one of those things. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. This is me closing another chapter on my life with community college finally being over with. I'm gonna be starting university in about a week and a half. It's fucking crazy. I'm like, I, I don't feel ready for it, you know? Like, it's just, it's coming and it's gonna happen fast. And and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I, I hope these vlogs are still like somewhat entertaining to watch. Next month, I have a lot coming up with university starting. It's gonna be a huge like life adjustment for me. So hopefully that'll be more interesting. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching all the time. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Don't think twice when you're alone